Hello, MGTOWs. Hello, men. I wanted to talk a little today about uh, Me Too movement and public recantations. We can see this most pronounced with uh, Henry Cavell, uh, Superman, how he felt a need to come out publicly and, recant and do a public recantation, an apology for what society deemed as a crime. Public recantations are nothing new to society, from the Iranian clerics to uh, the Inquisitions, to the Stansky trials, to McCarthyism, to Maoism, to uh, Stalinism. Public recantations are often given when you do disagree with uh, society or the authoritarian society. They demand a public recantation. Now, most of the time, we'll, uh, we'll equate public recantations being coerced by torture. In these cases that we're going to talk about in modern society, we're going to talk about public recantations being coerced by threats. And which threats are torture if it's a financial torture, or if it's a social torture, or if it's... Uh, or if it's punishment by means of ostracization. A recantation means a personal public act of denial of a previously published or said uh, opinion or belief in Henry Cavell's. Uh, in Henry Cavell's uh, position, he gave a statement to the press, and the press ran with it. Uh, right now, I wanted to talk about a little book called Tortured Confessions. Tortured Confessions is a book that's been out since 1999. It's uh, R. Van Abrams writes it, and he talks about the clerics in Iran, and he also talks about McCarthyism. He talks about the, the Slansky trials. He talks about uh, the Inquisition and stuff like that, how these how these forms of public recantations came around from religion and uh, not believing in another man's religion like uh, the clerics. They would uh, often uh, beat and torture and starve their prisoners until they said what they wanted them to say, which is they believe in the religion they and the society that they had uh, had set up and until they got that they would even use means of media and uh, in the iranian case they had a tv show where prisoners came out like the media show here in america the prisoners come out and they're threatened with this violence of uh, financial violence or uh, or ostracization from their work or something like that and they come out on the media and the tv show pretty much and they recant and they say oh i believe in me too now and i'll donate to it and and i believe that the little girls all little girls are being raped and all little girls are being uh, being tortured and and they're forced to say this and this is a social position so what uh, happens here is consequently the recantation stress the voluntary nature of the whole exercise as well as the sinister link between the external and the internal enemies these two uh, issues features as uh, predominantly as propaganda for the authorities and against the opposition. In these cases, the enemy is omnipresent, uh, which is the authority as well as... Uh, as other things and uh, control over one's life uh, in the medieval times uh, in early modern Europe uh, it took the form of the devil or uh, a well con concealed agent or uh, you know in Hitler's time it was the Jews and uh, the Christian churchgoers peasants and uh, harboring uh, uh, you know, harboring their cells and their heresies within their houses, and they needed to recant about these things that uh, the clerics, or we'll just say clerics, or the authoritarian figures believe. In our time now, it's uh, Me Too, and the media does it in a different form, and the media just has a different face, a different shape in their face, and they uh, demand these public recantations about uh, what you say about the beautiful ones or the. Uh, what they perceive as their angels, their gods, which are the female, the matriarchal society, which we live in. 
So uh, I just wanted to break this issue and kind of go over it. And uh, in this week, I'll go over it more within probably a series, just so, because it is hard to understand. So uh, with that, I heard a I heard a line lately, and uh, it was it was everything subjective as long as it comes from the psychopathic narrator. What enemies do you draw up in your mind? What enemies is the system telling you that there is? Are these are these men out there? These these these. Uh, these these men are they horrible misogynist men or are they just an enemy that uh, the public, the press, the media, along with a few group in any authoritarian gynocentric uh, gynocentric system, is do they want you to see these people as the enemy? And are you drawing up a fake dragon? Are you lancing with uh, with dragons? Are you uh, are you lancing at windmills? Uh, the enemy comes from within you, and you draw up the enemy. Uh, what we found out about torture and public recantations is, is pretty much, it will never change the mind of the person that recantates. It's uh, just a means that, uh, it's, it's simply a means that was coerced from them. It will not change the mind of the person. It will not change the mind of me or you or have Henry Cavell or uh, any of the men that have been accused in these things. It will just publicly show support for the system in a sort of surface value. They don't really mean it. It was coerced from them through threats of violence. And that's all I wanted to talk about today, man. And you guys uh, take care and have a great day.